What'd you step on? The cheese blitzes. Go eating those. <laughs> What doesn't kill you makes you bonger. Woo! That's all, that's the joke I have. Welcome to the Kitchen and Jorn Show. Another episode of We Try Every Blank from Trader Joe's. What are we trying today, What Kristen? blank is it? Today we are trying every Trader Joe's frozen breakfast. Of which there are? 21. 21. I think there's 21. Yeah, you're welcome, Kelly. And for some reason, this is your first rodeo, which I doubt it is. If you're this far down the rabbit hole, you're in hell with us for a reason. For some reason, this is your first rodeo. We are gonna eat all these things and we are are going to rate them according to the scale, which is really good, pretty great, and just okay. And if you absolutely suck, penalty box penalty bad. Penalty box bad! So, in the poop shoot with you! In the poop shoot. So not the good box. one, not the fun poop shoot. We have a bunch of stuff in the oven going right now, so we're gonna be hop, skip, and jumping back and forth to get that stuff out and then start trying it. The first item we are gonna be trying today are the authentic Belgian waffles. We went to Belgium to find the real deal, and now you have it. Did they are these really from Belgium? Long way to go. It's this product in Belgium. This is probably from Belgium. You're right, okay. So All there's right. only a little bit of maple syrup left, and we have a lot of items that might want some syrup. Well, we'll just be judicious. We'll judicious. Oh, that's okay, my bad. What? Sorry. <laughs> we'll be gen dishes instead. It's got a nice little crispy outside. Yeah, I mean, you did cook it. I like this. I'm actually really impressed. The thing about frozen foods is that when you go in the freezer, you start to accumulate moisture, frozen moisture, like a little sweater. And the longer you're in the freezer, the more that sweater just gets bigger and bigger. So by the time you get taken out of the freezer, you're like a sheep that has not been shorn in years, except that you have to eat the sheep and also all the fur with it. That's what freezer burn is. Anyway, this waffle doesn't have any of that, so. That was pretty good. Right? Oh, yeah. These are really great. I would definitely serve these to a Belgian. Damn, okay, we're kicking <laughs> off on a high note. These are the Trader Joe's cheese blintzes. So, Chris and I, neither one of us is super sure what a blint is. I think it's blint blintz with a Z. I like, don't know, it's a pastry. It's a crepe, but with cheese in it. What kind of cheese? This looks like cottage cheese. Hold it. Is it too hot? No, the texture of the cheese is, I think, bizarre. It looks like cheese, but like it's not done yet. Truthfully, the taste isn't bad. The cheese is very chewy, and then as you chew it more, it gets like stringy, and it's already kind of a little lumpy. They're still chewing, which to me is an indication of how chewy this is. It's also served with peaches on the box. I feel like it would be better with peaches. If it would be better with peaches, just include the peaches. Okay, the cheese blends. I think they're just okay. These are just okay. These are the traditional latkes, yeah. which are the potato pancakes, but I think they're usually like a, a hearty, like I, they're oh. very savory, but I, I think traditional. They're not usually, but they were in the frozen. They were in the frozen. Style. I mean, they did say, here's the thing. They say potato pancake. So people are just like, pancake. Yeah, Trader Joe's, you put them in the breakfast aisle. That's why we took them. Yeah, we, you, you did this. This box led me to believe that there was like a little bit more of like a, a texture, whereas these just kind of look like they came out of a filing cabinet. Oh. They're pretty good. I think they'd be better fried. Yes. That's our bad. By yeah. our bad, I mean your bad. Yeah, my bad. For being cooked in the oven, honestly, like they kept their flavor. I think they're just I'm okay. On. Yeah, they're just okay. <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> so these are the Trader Joe's hash browns. These are basically McDonald's hash browns. Mm. They are crispy. They were cooked in the oven. Last night's bad decisions is what they taste like. Mm, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Shouldn't have kissed that guy. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Hand job regret. <laughs> I like these. They're not as good as McDonald's hash browns. Mm -mm. Honestly, in a pinch, like if you had like a full breakfast, like eggs, bacon, the whole shebang, and you added this, it would be like a delightful contribution. So the Trader Joe's hash browns, pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty good. Pretty ba -da -ba -ba -ba, get out of here. Oh, the cauliflower pancakes. The cauliflower pancakes are pretty crispy. The sense I get from the cauliflower pancakes is that they're just like potato pancakes too rich for your blood. Here's cauliflower pancakes. <laughs> they smell like oil. I don't really smell anything. Cauliflower is like the packing peanuts of vegetables. It's something that you sort of like use to eat this. Why? Oh, that's good. This kind of tastes like an onion ring. This is delicious. Compare it texturally to this, you know? This one is ribbed for her pleasure. I mean, cauliflower is really magic, honestly. I would say that the cauliflower pancakes- They're pretty good. Pretty good. I think they're better than the potato pancakes. Yeah, you know? wow. Most of the ones that we've cooked in the oven, we've been enjoying. Oh, that's everything we've eaten so far. I know. All right, this is the last of the oven items. So these are the brioche French toasts. Waffle time of oh, French toast time. <laughs> it was like it's not waffle time. Interesting. These are decent. They're a little dry, which I think might be your fault. No way to confirm that. But up, 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 you f***ed it up. They're very chewy. Caveat, these are a little bit overcooked, but you can really taste the cinnamon. You can really taste like the flavoring. I don't know if it's natural flavorings. Here's the thing about French toast. French toast is a lot like French kissing. It's moist on the inside if you do it right. You know, I, um, <laughs> I'm actually a virgin, so. <laughs> 
I mean, you don't want to make your own French toast. These are pretty good. These are the multigrain waffles. This one is just popped out of the toaster. Pop. You don't want syrup? No, I had syrup down here. Oh. Honestly, any waffle that is prepared to toaster typically tastes the same to me. They have fiber in them? Yeah, three grams. That's not a lot. It's not nothing. It's not the worst. They taste like they have fiber in them. I okay. mean, these are like waffles that went to college. Yeah, I mean- like, We get it, you read Proust. Nothing really stands out about them, but they don't taste bad. So they're just okay. They're just okay. We have more waffles coming at ya. These are gluten-free toaster waffles. These are gluten-free toaster waffles. So you hold the box and I'll shove it in the toaster. Mmm, the old hold and shove. Oh, and then you know what? These are toaster blueberry waffles. So I'm gonna put them both in at the same time. We'll kill two birds with one stone. Sorry, box. <laughs> What happened? I don't know. It like exploded. Shouldn't have happened. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oops, 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 oops. <laughs> so we'll do the gluten free one first. Did you give it to this, me? Yeah, that's that's oh, it. Oh, I don't know. There's just so much going on here. There's, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of breakfast. In today's foods. society, there's so many breakfast foods. These uncertain times. It kind of tastes like a pizzelle cookie. A what? You know those like thin Italian cookies? I might be pronouncing them wrong. Pizzella. It's sweet. They're not bad. Mm. They're pretty good, actually. All right, so the gluten-free toaster waffles. I'm pretty good. Oh my God, that was a voice crack. I think they're pretty good. I think they're pretty good. Here, these are the blueberry ones. Okay, are, well, then they look very dry. They smell like blueberries. Yeah, and you can, I mean, you can see there's blueberry chunks in them. The role of blueberry will be played today by blue dye number 40 <laughs> and some soy. <laughs> you certainly taste the blueberry. They're no, they're good. With maple syrup, butter, like hunkering down in front of the TV on a Saturday morning, this would be really nice. This is a perfectly decent substitute. All right, the blueberry toaster pretty waffles good. pretty good. These are the dairy-free and gluten-free toaster pancakes. Uh, okay, so they're probably like joy-free. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I am lactose intolerant, but I refuse to deal with it. I'm 37, I haven't faced my problems yet, and I will not be starting now. Oh. Yeah, not, not. Not my fave, little flavorless. The texture, because pancakes don't get as fluffy as waffles do in the toaster, it's like kind of soggy, but somehow crispy on the outside. So it's just a little weird. You know how like in the UK, a pudding isn't like really a pudding. It's sort of like a pastry that has like too much moisture on the inside. This is a pudding, but in pancake form. It's like, what if I left a pancake in the rain and didn't love it? Would it call me? Would it call me? I <laughs> am fascinated by, I've never seen pancakes like, that you can put in the toaster it's before. It's like the food version of wet socks. The oh, flake? okay. All right. What's this? These are the apple cinnamon oatmeal bites. The funny thing is you can really smell the cinnamon. I don't really understand the oatmeal thing, but we're gonna find out right now. I mean, it's like oatmeal, it's like, we don't need that. I love when you eat with me on a fork and I'm like, nah. Is it hot? It feels like it's too hot. This needs a second. Can we go back like a Mine was less hot. Okay, well mine is more hot. These are really weird. <laughs> it's like crispy outside and then like very gooey risotto oatmeal situation in there. Oh, I have no idea what they are yet, because I'm just trying not to die. Why don't you drink water? I can't pour my tongue. But why aren't we drinking the water though? Because I didn't want to dilute it. They smell great. It's like a dessert arancini. But it's bad. I would say these are penalty box bad. <laughs> these are bad. I'm so upset. They're, they Can smell you? good. Just oatmeal is a great meal for when you don't know what you want to eat and you have to eat something. So, yeah. <laughs> That's what oatmeal is perfect for. These are the Trader Joe's egg frittatas. With Swiss cheese and cauliflower. Cauliflower. You can make them in the microwave or the oven. We made them in the microwave. The serving suggestion is on like a breakfast sandwich. Yeah, I'll show I wouldn't you. want this much egg on them. Well, it's like, look at this. And it's like, mm, you're, Oh, okay. You're, mm, the breakfast sandwich is doing a lot of the heavy lifting. Yeah, here. Like, I don't know. We're gonna try it. <laughs> Honestly? Are just like egg whites or something? Which isn't bad. It's not bad. You can taste like chives, you know? Like they tried to flavor it a little bit. I bet if you pan fry it too. Yeah, a I think crispier. a little crispier, yeah. I don't think this is bad. No, I think these are pretty good. They're pretty good. I don't know if we're gonna like this one. A soy riso scramble? Yeah. Yeah, no. I saw that and I was like, hmm. So this is the tofu scramble with soy chorizo fresh out of the microwave. Because I'm not a big soy riso connoisseur, but I know someone who is. Please welcome to the kitchen and Jordan stage. Bree! A, a, a hungry person, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you want to try this soy riso? Yeah. Sure. And see how you feel I, about uh, it? Yeah, I, so, was, I was a vegetarian for a number of years. Yeah, and then I negotiated her up to fish. Yeah, and then everything else kind of came because of I didn't act. People are gonna be like, you pressured her. She loves fish. This is really good. Really? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, well then I'm gonna try it's it. It's good, it's not too salty. It's got a good flavor to the protein. I can't stand soy riso, so that's why we got free. Really great. I think so, yeah. Yeah, this is good. I'm glad that we brought you in for this one because I wanted it to be successful. Kristen's going. Kristen's going to. to oh no! She might be spitting it out. She might be spitting it onto the microphone. I spit it on, oh shoot, I spit it onto myself and then onto the pizza box. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna have to change. <laughs> Yeah. Texturally, I thought it was kind of gross, but that's just me. So we deferred to the soy riso liker. 
And you liked it. I did. It's a Trader Joe's Eggwich sandwich. So it's a breadless breakfast sandwich where the egg patties make the bread and there's sausage and melted cheese. The whole point of a sandwich is that it's portable. It's on the go. It's a lady of the city. So once it becomes wet on the outside, it's no longer of the witch variety. I mean, you can hold it. Mm. It looks dry yet wet. It's like dry in the wrong ways and wet in the wrong ways. I will say that it's very salty. To me, this kind of tastes similar to like fast food eggs. I don't hate it. No, I don't think this is like penalty box bad by any means. I think it's dish. If you're someone who eats a lot of like frozen breakfast sandwiches, cause like you think it's like on a similar level to <laughs> one with bread. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just okay right now. Oh boy, it's the acai bowl. I'm actually really excited about this cause I do like acai bowls and- I do too. Ooh, coconut flakes. Yeah, so there's, wait, there's granola. I feel like you have to mix it in. You gotta wet the dries, dry the wets. All right. I know, I'm, I'm spending a lot of time mixing and not a lot of time. That's good. Honestly? Need a little bit more granola. Yeah, and that's something you could like provide um, at your home if you wanted to. Yeah. This is like, you stick this acai bowl in the microwave for 45 seconds to defrost it. It stays cold, like the fruit is still cold, it's still refreshing. For something that you would just like make at home. I think this is really great. What the f What happened? This is just what it looks like. Oh yeah, I've had these before. It's, 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 just, it's just, yeah, you put it in a bowl. It's just like a cylinder of, of, of oatmeal. Uh, <laughs> remove one oatmeal puck from its package and place it in a bowl. One oatmeal puck. These are the oatmeal oh my God. pucks. It actually did, you know, in the microwave, it melted down into normal textured looking oatmeal. Don't do that. Don't, don't glop it. This I'm not doing it on purpose. This is literally what This is an Oliver. <laughs> Mm, this is really good. I'm really surprised. I mean, oatmeal generally is like the most oatmeal <laughs> I've eaten in my life. Oh. oh no, did I get it on myself again? Mm, a little bit. This is a hot nightmare. I mean, we're, we're laughing about the puck, but like maybe they just kind of figured out the best way to like pack wet oatmeal in a way that like, I mean. It maintain the moisture when it melts. Very flavorful, good texture, warm. These are really great. These are really great. Wow. Wow. I am very impressed with this oatmeal. Wow. Jeez. It was, we really did not have high expectations. No, I was like, I don't know about this. Are you ready for the last item? Oh my God, are we done yet? Yeah, this is the last item. Over this. I'm gonna put them in the microwave. So these are the Trader Joe's silver, silver dollar, dollar pancakes. pancakes. Oh, look how cute they are. They are actually really oh, cute. Boop, 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 It's hot though. I can't do bits for them for too long. So like, they're gonna get downgraded for that. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Oh, what the? Guys. What? These are like the stretchiest. These are like gummy candies. They're so chewy. Not bad. I bet they're good with syrup. Maybe. Texture-wise, I find these bizarre. These are just okay. Jen actually didn't really brew it throughout the rest of the syrup. There was a little bit of syrup left. I mean, there isn't any left now, though. <laughs> it's for sure gone. I don't know, they have like a nice little vanilla aftertaste. They're just, honestly, they're just, they're just, they're just, they're just okay. okay. I think I just want them to be better than they are. They're not, though. Oh my God, are we done? We're done. Ugh. Hey, guys. So this video, we hope was entertaining. Kristen and I feel terrible <laughs> and are probably gonna take a break from these Trader Joe's videos and are probably gonna try healthier or less depressing. Oh, you know what we could try is Trader Joe's products that are not edible. Yeah, we're gonna try- They have a whole bunch of skincare stuff. Yeah. Which um, ones do we like the best? Obviously the Belgian waffle, obviously- the, the oatmeal, the, the oatmeal acai bowl. The brioche was probably fine if it was cooked right. Yeah. Hash browns were great. The cauliflower pancakes were good. Yeah, they were really good. Listen, if you guys have any video ideas that you'll watch as much as these, uh, let us know. Let us We'll just do those. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye.